Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of the Baltimore Ravens playbook. Uh, this is a playbook that I broke down pretty significantly last year, quite a bit. Um, it was my probably my favorite playbook at the end of last season, coming over into the beginning of this season, and it's still a really good book. But you know, I always need new challenges. Uh, but I found a really good run play uh, that you can run out of this I form uh, close flex. Uh, it's a really good combo of run play and a pass play, and I wanted to bring it to you guys. Uh, but like I said, in the description below, I broke down this entire playbook. It's still one of my favorite playbooks, but you know, as time goes on, you want to challenge yourself, and that's is what it is. Now, now, how you know that this particular play is broken is this this particular play, the first the pass play I'm going to show you is also in the weak close flex, um, but they they changed it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about real quick. Um, I put this out last year, and it was pretty popular. Last year, this play you basically would motion over this fullback but it won't let you do that anymore so that's how you know that ea knows this is a broken setup but they, they only changed it in that particular formation they did not change it in the uh, i form <laughs> in the i form uh close flex which is basically the same play um so so you know i mean they went in there and they changed that little bit where you couldn't motion out the fullback but they forgot to do it in this formation so guess what we're gonna make a formation uh we're gonna run this play out of this and i'm also gonna show you a really good run play stick around for the run play to me the run play is super cheesy and super glitchy, uh, which is the reason that I'm releasing this right now. So, uh, but I'll show the pass play first. Out of the PA, it's the PA cross F wheel, and like I said, I'm gonna put somebody with some, you know, some mobility slash uh, speed at the fullback spot. If you got a fast fullback, that's great. Uh, but I'm gonna put Danny Woodhead uh, at the fullback spot. They don't have really any speed at running back or anything like that, which kind of sucks. But like I said, when I show you the run play, speed doesn't even matter. So let's pick this play. Uh, we'll go random on defense. So I'd like to move the ball back because this is this can kind of be a deep play so i'll just move back to like the 45 i guess like i said in that other formation it wouldn't let me do this it wouldn't let me motion this guy out like i said that's going to be even bigger when it comes to um the run play you're going to see how, how cheesy that is uh, but we're going to go ahead we're also going to motion we're going to put the, our tight end boyle who i thought i put in darren waller at the uh, at the um um the tight end spot here. I thought it was. I thought I put Waller. I'll change that in a minute. But I uh, put him on a slant, and that's basically your setup. You can also put him on an in route. Uh, timing wise, that might work out a little bit better. That's really up to you though. So the first read is going to be R1. If it's a man coverage, pretty much everything here is going to destroy. But if it's a zone coverage, R1 is going to be my first read. As you can see here, he's just wide open, and then I get a really bad throwing animation because <laughs> I didn't cancel the play action. But you see how wide he is. We'll go ahead. We'll uh, fix that this time. I'll go ahead and I'll uh, I'll hit the R2 button to cancel the play action, or I can just get rid of the play action entirely. But I'll keep the play action. So like I said, R1's my first read. Um, here you can see it's a man coverage, so everything's open on a man coverage. That's just stupid to, to run a man coverage on this. Almost was gone. If he was a little faster, he'd been gone. If it's easier for you, you can always cancel the play action because I don't really like the fact that the quarterback's getting pulled and moved and all that stuff. You can also leave. You don't have to do the slant either. You can leave Boyle on that check and release. That's an option. Um, you know, he'll he'll uh, he'll get open quite a bit on that check and release too. Uh, but realistically, all you really need to do is that motion. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna do this again. And I totally hit the wrong button there. But you know what? Woodhead once again, wide open in the flat. That's what makes this play so special. Is you got an easy 10 yards there. Just an easy read, easy pitch and catch. A lot of times, if you got real good speed at that spot, um, a lot of times you'll get uh, some really good catch and runs. Uh, I forgot to cancel that play action again, but look how wide open he is in the flat there. You know what I mean? That's like I'm getting 10 to 15 without even doing anything. So, like I said, the real the real big play about this is um, is is, is uh, Macklin and Wallace. I'm gonna hopefully I'm gonna I'm gonna start looking downfield a little bit. Here we're gonna pass lead back, get a little safe catch. You can see how wide open down the field it is. The tight end here is really up to you if you want to put him on a slant, if you want to leave him in that check and release. I find it's it's good either way. The slant's good though. It kind of works across the coverage. And that was to a spot. I wish it would have been a little bit closer to the receiver, but it's all good. So that's the that's the pass play. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the run play now. I released that play maybe a year or two ago, but what makes this to the point where I wanted to release it again is this stretch play. Now I'm gonna go ahead. If you want to be cheesy, you can go ahead and put tight ends at these receiver spots. I don't typically do that, and it's not even necessary. So I'm gonna leave it alone. But um, a lot of people, you know. It's definitely going to give you an advantage. Uh, I'm going to keep Danny Woodhead in there too. He's not a great pass blocker, but I'm going to show you how it doesn't matter. This is such a glitchy run. So let's go ahead and let's choose this. We'll keep going random 4-3. So all I'm going to do is flip the play, motion out the running back. You're going to see how this cluster block 
just sets me up for daylight. Look at this, man. There's nobody there. There's nobody there. Sean Lee got a little close. Sean Lee got a little close to me there. All right, so I'm going to flip the play again. We're going to motion out Woodhead. Like I said, he's not a blocker. By any means is he a blocker. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do this, and you can just see how he just kicks out. Look at him. He gets to the next level, gets a big block. And if I would have just maybe stayed outside, I might have got more there. Go ahead, and we'll do this again. Still coming down the box. This is still, it's just still do fine. It should still work out. Look at that. Look at the holds, man. Look at the holds on the blocks. And 18 almost, 18 almost sprung me to the house there, but still a great run. But like I said, this works great because you, you just have so much confusion whether it's going to be the pass or the run. You know what I mean? If you got to mix this in properly, look at the blocks, man. Look at the blocks, man. And like I said, this guy's like an 88 speed back. But look at the blocks on the, on the, on the offensive side for 88 speed Collins to take it to the house. Let me tell you, this play right here, I just fell in love with this play. Definitely a great combo. Run pass, run pass. There, that's some good blocking right there. Oh, get him out of the way. Get him out of the way. Can we get, can we get the burners? <laughs> can we get the burners to go? Like I said, if he was fast, he'd have been gone. You know what I'm saying? He just definitely doesn't have the speed. So that's it. I'm going to end the video there. Um, really good run play. If you guys want to see more Ravens, do me a favor and hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. I'm also looking into the Bills, the Browns. There's a couple different playbooks. Let me know what you guys want to see the most. Uh, and that, other than that, thanks for watching Madden Money. Shout out.